Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Let's Pixel video. In this video, I'm just going to be drawing some characters for a small game I'm working on. So this month, I'm sort of taking a little bit of a break from doing tutorial videos and such. Uh, not 100% break, but just slowing back. I've been doing all the videos for the course, my action RPG course in Game Maker Studio 2. And that course has gone really well, and that's been exciting for me. So I'm kind of getting feedback from the users there, helping users, uh, doing support, and figuring out kind of where I want to go next with it, because I'm planning on adding more content to it. But I wanted to get some feedback from users and stuff first. Uh, so also part of this month, uh, because I've been taking a break from some of the other things that I normally do, I'm going to be building a small game, almost like a game jam, but not. I'm going to do it in a single month, and I started doing that. I've been doing it in the Godot engine because I wanted to try giving Godot more of a shot. So let me show you what I have real quick. Uh, this is this is about three, four days into it. Let's see, I started working on, today's Friday, and it's almost the end of the day on Friday, and I started working on Tuesday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so this is day four. Uh, I've also been documenting just not necessarily exactly everything that I do, but maybe some of the problems that I run into and the solutions that I come up with. So that document is definitely not uh, for public viewing because it's terrible right now. Uh, there's <laughs> it, it would definitely need some cleaning up before I could show it to anybody. But I did want to just document that process anyways. So. Uh, this is what I have for four days in, so I've got some uh, movement inside of the grid here. You can move, I'll attack this enemy. Uh, the enemies do have pathfinding, so they should be able to come find me no matter where I am. Although now, now they're going to get, well, let's, ki let's kill this guy, that'll fix it. Okay, come over here. Yeah, so uh, you can see the enemies do have pathfinding. They don't actually attack yet. This is what I have for four days in, and I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, I'm, I may have I may end up having to redo this targeter system where it creates these uh, I guess places to click because th that's not gonna work exactly the same way but for this let's pixel video I thought I would do some I wanted to do a video today still so I thought I would do some pixel art for this game and you can see uh, some of this might look familiar if any of you guys saw my game the arch the arch wizards arena that was actually a game that I made in Game Maker Studio 2 for the Ludum Dare. And it was kind of actually a prototype for this game. Uh, so I was kind of building up to, to being able to work on this game. So it was more of a prototype visually and sort of kind of mechanics. The mechanics in this will be quite a bit different probably. But because this will be more of a roguelike and that really wasn't a roguelike. Anyways, so... Now that you've seen that, I, I did want to do some artwork for it, so I'm thinking I'm going to do uh, just a few little enemy, I guess, outline type ideas. So I, I've got this, this enemy is 16 by 20, and the player is, what is the player? 16 by 20 as well. But this enemy is obviously a lot lower, doesn't use up as much of the screen, so I'm going to add just more frames to this. And... And I, I want to keep these colors. I like these colors. But I'm going to get rid of this completely. Okay. So I was kind of thinking maybe I could have something with kind of like uh, maybe maybe bigger bigger like arms, like kind of guns on the side like this. Hmm, can't do that. Come here. And no, I could probably do that with the red stripe there. And then have Hmm, let's see. Might have it. Go 
me down like this. And let's see. Let's start by, you can see I'm using outlines. That's mostly because uh, I only have a month to make this game, so I'm going for fast. And outlines will speed up uh, the process a little bit. It makes it easier to, you, you have to worry less about colors. So, let's do, I don't know, this whole thing feels kind of square, which is okay. I'm thinking, it, it doesn't, it feels like I should definitely have this gun a little bit lower, and then have like another gun that you can see in the background, like right here. Like this. And that's not too bad. We're we're getting closer now kind of what I'm thinking. Make it feel a little bit less, I don't know. Should I give it an eye? Kind of makes it feel a little more sinister when I give it an eye. I also feel like this gun needs to be a little bit higher. So yeah, that's not bad. Let's uh, come out and see if it matches the other enemy. It does. It feels like pretty much the same thing if we look at the two. Uh, this one has a little bit less perspective, it feels like. So I would bring this up one higher, actually, and then uh, actually bring it across right there. That makes it feel a little bit more like the same perspective as this enemy. So yeah, we've got turrets here, anyways. Uh, I was also thinking, uh, this is kind of, I guess the setting for this game is futuristic, kind of dystopian. I mean, the main character for it is supposed to be uh, a wizard, but that's also an AI. I'm just kind of being silly with it, obviously. But yeah, you've got your main character is an artificial intelligent wizard. <laughs> so I kind of think maybe a rat could be good as well. I can already kind of see a rat shape right here in this. So I can just take this like this and make a rat out of it, I think. I got the tail coming down along here. Come, oops. And there you go, it's a rat. So we'll go with ears like this. down some sort of a nose right there hmm
probably have to move it up a little bit. That'll give me more room for the tail anyways. Which I didn't want to ruin. And it was previously ruined. So I may end up just going with black for the tail. I think it might look better. Yeah, I like that actually. And the face needs a lot of work still. Goodness gracious, this is the most terrible rat I've ever drawn. <laughs> I mean, I have only spent like a couple seconds on it, so maybe a couple minutes. But let's look at a rat's actual face here so we can get this working better. So let's see. Okay, let's get the head shape first. Okay, there's a better head shape. Then we'll add the ear right here. It's going to look very mouse-like actually if I do that. Okay, this is starting to look better. Still looks kind of like a mouse, but you know, there are worse things in life when you're drawing a rat and it looks like a mouse. Definitely need to play with the perspective a little here. Well, the tail's not working. It's just in the way, making this a lot more difficult than it needs to be. So, instead, it's not going to work. Instead, can bring the tail to the back and it totally just looks best if I just pretend like it doesn't have legs you know something like this just kind of hide the legs in it obviously these colors are going to need to change
Well, that's not too bad. Now let's see what we can do about these colors. So I'm going to go, I don't want it to be purple. Uh, we could go for like a kind of a yellow brown. And then bring this in more into the yellows. Makes it look, you know. Maybe I do have to bring the tail down here. I didn't want to, but. The other way didn't really make sense. Well, so here's the thing about uh, l this kind of stuff. We're never going to know really how good it looks until we put it in game. So let's, let's, I think I'd built a prototype for this. Oh man, that doesn't look good from here for sure. Hmm. That's better. That's better. Hmm. That's not better. Okay, so let's try this though. So I have this. Unfortunately, I drew them all in the same sprite, but what I can do Let's try two first or uh, one first. So I'm just gonna see how this looks in game because I have Well, I have some of the other tiles Set up And that didn't work. Oh, what? Oh I set the image speed too. Okay. Okay, let's try this. So there's the other one. I think it looks pretty cool. Anyways. Uh, looks really similar to the other one. I might change the colors just to make it not look quite the same. So like that one's purple, so this one can be more of a a blue color. That could be cool. So then we'll just swap this out. And swap this out. And that should help them to look a different, more different. That makes this one look more gray actually. Like a I don't know. It looks it looks more like a dark metal to me than that purple color that it was before still maybe too similar to the background let's have a look at our rat so yeah rat looks terrible uh, it doesn't look the problem with the rat is that the colors are too different. So this one, colors aren't different enough. Like we could really go for more blue here. And go almost in the green here. And then rat is too different. This, this color right here needs to have more, I think more red in it to make it feel like it's more part of the world. We could probably still go pretty yellow with the with the top color. Let's see how that looks. I 
Yeah, see, that's better. So this whole scene has kind of like a, almost like a nighttime feel to it. And so it's important to make the colors match that where uh, the other colors in this were a little too warm, maybe a little too yellow and bright. So then it didn't quite match the nighttime scene. That's better. I'm not sure I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to outline all of this. I think I might do that for it. Just outline the bottom. But let's try saving these and show them in the actual game. So we'll save this, call this rat, and we'll call this, what should we call this? This is a turret too. Um, save, but it's kind of like, I don't know, this one feels this one actually feels more stationary to me. We'll call it double turret. For now, let's come back into Godot. And I'm just gonna cheat and set this one, because if we come into our sprites right here, we'll set this one to the rat. Make sure and come in turn off the filter and the mip maps and then we'll come into this turret and we'll set this one to the what did I call it again double turret and let's turn off filter and mip maps just for kicks I'll turn this one into a rat as well I feel like rats would be more common And that's actually not too bad. Um, my wizard has a light on the on the end of the staff, but I feel like it's a little too bright. Try and make it just a little darker yeah that might be better the problem gets when you get a lot of these enemies and then these things right here because the enemies all have lights on them as well hmm. so yeah I feel like that was, those two are pretty good. I, I'm not sure how long I want to make this video, so I don't want to go too long. And it looks like I've already been recording for about 23 minutes. So I'm probably going to end it there for this quick little Let's Pixel. Uh, a lot of people, you'd be surprised maybe how many people ask me this, what sizes that I do my sprites. And uh, it depends, but when I'm trying to make a fast game like this, I will often go for 16 by 16 or 24 by 24, because even 32 by 32 starts to get trickier to make the sprites. So I go for really small sprites and try and make them fast, and this this is going to allow me to make... I feel like it's going to be a really interesting and fun game without spending too much time on the artwork, but also making the artwork still look nice. Uh, so that's kind of the balance that I'm going for. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Even though I'm s going a little bit slower uh, this month, I will have a video out next week as well. So keep an eye out for that. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for videos, if you'd like to see anything, and I will talk to you guys later.